Don't you care about their soul? If you have the love of God in you, you, you will care about their soul. You will care about where they are, where they are anchored. You will care about their witness for the kingdom of God. It's all about caring. See, God loved you so much that he sent his only begotten son to die for you. He didn't send the son, the son of the world to condemn you, but that you accept him and have life, and life everlasting. And God doesn't change. And don't think that because you commit one sin, God has his thumb on you ready to toss you into hell. If you're a Christian, you're covered in the blood of Christ. But sin separates you from God, from your relationship. When you're a Christian and you, you're doing things that are sinful, you're, it's like you put a barrier between you and God. Guess what? You're never going to be perfect, so don't try. Only Christ was perfect. And he died for your sins. He was buried, rose again on the third day, and then he ascended into heaven. And he's interceding for you at the right hand of God the Father. Read the Apostles' Creed. That will tell you. So, the thing is, is our prayer should be God send a revival. Let it begin with me. So ask yourself this question, all of you. What am I doing in my daily walk with God that will bring revival? The thing is, do you need to be revived? Amen. Do you have the faith to believe God in the midst of of an unfavorable circumstance? Let me tell you we all need to be revived somewhere in our life. There are things that so easily beset us that have us bound. Everyone has a problem somewhere in their life. And only God can take care of it. Matter of fact, God can stand with you in that. God will go with you. He's there. He's there to encourage you. Say, keep on. It's going to be okay. I'll give you the strength to make it. I'll give you the strength to overcome it. I'm here for you. Call upon me, and I will answer. Amen. And show you, show you great and marvelous things. That's the kind of God we have today. He loves you. God loves you. Each and every one of you watching this video, God loves you. He desires to have a proper relationship with you. All of you that are here today, and thank God you brought your Bibles and followed along today. God loves you too. <laughs> Jesus died for you. Yes, you can. You accepted Christ. But you may have something in your life. Well, God wants to deliver you from that situation. He wants to renew your heart, renew your spirit. Those of you that are watching, the same thing. Let me say it. Let me make this statement. Christian TV is good. But it should never take the place of going to church and having fellowship with other believers. Yeah, if you're sick or bedridden, we understand. I mean, no, no problem. But those of you who think you can watch somebody on TV and you might watch five or six programs and you feel justified and then after the five programs, you don't know where you're coming or what's happening or anything else because there's so much going out into the world. But when you sit under a shepherd that has a love for you and knows you personally, someone that you can confine in, someone that will pray for you hand in hand, yes, that, that, that's why you need a church. That's why you need other believers. You need to be surrounded by people that you know. Them, them long distance things, believe me, they don't work. I'm going to tell you what. You try to call one of them evangelists. You try to call one of them preachers on TV and talk to them about your problem. You get a busy signal. But God, his telephone line is going to be busy. Mm -hmm. I mean, my church can call me anytime. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm not always there. I mean, I may be busy with someone else, but you can call me. Try to call these big ministries that want you to send all your money to them where they're going to go off the air. Let me say this, that if, if they're ministries of God, they'll be on the air. If not, then they'll be off the air. But if they're doing what God has called them to do, they'll continue on the air. Because God will make sure that the need is met. So don't listen to all that kind of talk. Beloved, go to church. 
find a Bible preaching, teaching church. Repent. Turn to God. He will receive you. That was our message today. Yeah. Message today called Return to God from Isaiah 57, 15, and I touched on 16. Beloved, this is the day the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Let me say this to you today. If you have never accepted Christ as your Savior and Lord, I want to pray with you today. And if you have accepted Christ, I've been in a backslidden state, I want to pray for you too. If you pray together with me before the throne of God, the joy of the Spirit of God is here today. Will you return to God? Will you come to God? Through Jesus Christ. Will you pray with me to accept Him as your Savior Lord, if you never have? And to repent of your sins, if you are backslidden, to come back in your proper relationship with God. See, I can't see you out there. And you can see me here, but I can't see you watching. I don't know what you look like, where you're from. All I know is that we have people from all over the world watching our TV broadcast and listening to our radio broadcast. No matter where you're at, Japan, China, New Zealand, England, France, Germany, United States of America, Mexico, Latin Central America, Canada, where's Africa, where we have viewers and listeners. God loves you. And he's not limited to distance or place or anything. Why don't you pray with me? Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I preach the message that you gave me to return to God from Isaiah. Father God, I come in prayer for those that are watching this broadcast. That they will have the opportunity to receive the precious gift of eternal life in your Son, Jesus Christ. I know that you have touched many through your Holy Spirit. I don't know who they are or where they are, but you know. You know the time. Maybe morning somewhere, maybe evening, afternoon, maybe night. But you have no time. A day is as of a thousand years, a thousand years as is of unto a day. You have no time, but you have a plan and a purpose. And I pray, Father God, as I come before you, but as I touch and agree with others I'm praying today for the salvation. More because they are compassionate. Father, in Jesus' name, I come before you. I come before you as a sinner or backslider. I ask you to forgive me of my sins and cleanse me of all righteousness. I heard the message today. Return to God. But Lord, I've never known you get to eternal life, and I want to receive Jesus Christ as my Savior Lord. So I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross. I heard the message today, and I feel in my spirit that I need to repent and come to the cross of Jesus Christ. I ask you to forgive me my sins because we from all Christ. The word in Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, Thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe thy heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Father, I come before you.
I don't want to die and go to hell and torment forever. But I want to go to heaven to be with you forever. Help me to grow. Help me to listen to preachers that preach the, the word of God directly and truthfully. Send me to a Bible preaching teaching church. If I have none where I'm at, to a radio station or a TV station that is preaching the truth. In Jesus' name I pray. And for the backsliders, just please pray this prayer to that. Lord, I came to you, I am your child, but I have been distanced from you. Please forgive me. I'm sorry for turning from you. Now I want to turn back to you. Because I found out that the world has nothing for me. Only you. I'm sorry. I want to reestablish my relationship with you. Closer than ever before. Draw nigh unto me as I draw nigh. Thank you for forgiving me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you said that prayer, please contact us by email at abundant.grace at att.net. Or call us and leave a message at 972-723-2355. You can reach us through our website at www.abundantgracechurch.net. You can listen to us anytime, 24-7, on pirateradio.com under Abundant Grace Church, under Gospel. Or by TV on Ustream.tv slash channel slash victory in Christ. Please, let us hear from you. We desire to hear from you and pray with you and pray for you. We have a prayer box here with prayer needs and we pray for them every day. So please contact us. God bless you. I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria. I am the pastor of Abundant Grace Church. We are located at 707 Wiley Street, Cedar Hill, Texas, 75104. God bless you, and for those that receive Christ as your Savior and Lord, welcome into the kingdom. You are my brother and sister. If you have any questions, please contact me. If you have repented, praise God for coming back into the fold. And if you need us, contact us too. God bless you, and go with God. Thank you.